All right, everybody, I'm back. Bears Vinyl 809 making his first video of the new year. Here are just a couple of things. While I watch the amazing Chicago Blackhawks of the 2013 season dominate the St. Louis Blues 3-1, to one. it's a great game so far. But um, I'm going to try to make this video as... I don't know why I'm making this video as I'm watching this game, but heck, let's, uh, let's take a jab at it. So... It turns out the Bears went ten and six. Unfortunately, we did not win. I'm telling you, it's a bad time to be playing this. Uh, I'll put it on mute. Maybe that'll help. So I, I think the Hawks got it anyway. Um, the Bears finished ten and six. We won our last two games. Unfortunately, we did not make the playoffs. Everyone wants to blame Green Bay for that. Don't blame Green Bay. The Bears lost it themselves. We went seven and one. We should at least finish twelve and four, thirteen and three. But we didn't. We finished 10 and 6, and we didn't make the playoffs. So that's our fault. Um, and then everyone wants to know, you know, why did we fire Louis Smith? Well, the fact of the matter is, you play the game to win games, and you play to get to the playoffs. Even if you go 10 and 6, and you don't make the playoffs, it's a failure of a season. You didn't go. Everyone wants to say, well, Lovey Smith should have been fired because he went 10-6. and six. You know what? Lovey Smith hasn't made the playoffs on a consistent basis. That's why he was fired. That's why we let him go. Since 2006, people, okay, since the Bears lost to the Colts in the Super Bowl, we've only been to the playoffs once. That's since 2006. That's like a six-year span, people, and you only make it once since then? And you're telling me that in our offense... Our offenses since then have been so inconsistent. And even since Lovey got hired, the highest offense that he had was number 15. That's why he got fired. Lack of consistency in the offensive game. Lack of consistency making the playoffs. Um, it, I mean, even depth. I mean, it's the lack of, of acknowledging our problems on offense. The offensive line has been crap ever since we lost the Super Bowl. Ever since, I think 06 07 was the last year we had a decent offensive line. Since then, it's pretty much just been shit. Or since 2008. And, and what, is, what, what did Lovey do to, to fix that? He didn't do anything, okay? I know it's not entirely all his fault, but we could have gone out there and we could have gotten better linemen, but he just, you know what I mean? It's like where, I mean, I know he believes in his guys, but, I mean, there's a point where you got to just add better depth to your team. Didn't happen. Lovey left, and all of us in Chicago know that it was his time to go. I will miss his defenses. I will miss some of his personnel because, damn, we had some damn good defenses, and I love watching takeaways. But, I mean, shit, the league's evolving into a, uh offensive uh, league. And that's what we need, which transitions over to Mark Trestman from the CFL. I'm kind of iffy about him. I really don't know how I completely feel about it. He, I mean, the, the only thing we can do is just trust him because what else can we do? Uh, Trestman's brought in a bunch of new personnel. This is an entirely new Bears team. One thing I did like that he said is that uh, he does want to build the team around Cutler, and that's the way it should be. If you need elite, an elite quarterback is what the team is supposed to be built around. Is the elite is a, a quarterback that can be elite. Cutler can be elite. He has a talent. He has a talent around him. I believe Jeffrey will evolve into a great receiver. Brandon Marshall's already amazing. We've seen the season he had. Uh, we need a better offensive line, and it seems Trestman knows that's what needs to be changed. So. You know, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. But um, uh, things I don't like, it's just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's very risky. But, I mean, every, everything's risky in football. Everything's risky no matter what you do. So, I mean, we can only go up. We can only go down from here. Uh, once again, I'm not expecting a huge amount of uh, wins next season because, you know, it's it's not exactly rebuilding mode, but it's more of a, more of a, I don't know, like, how? To, uh, what's the word for it? Not rebuild, but more of a change to finally complete your team. And hopefully this is the change we need. So the Bears can make a consistent playoff. Like, we, we need to. I mean, come on. we Like, year for year, like, we've had the talent to go all the way, but it's just... We, there's there's always that one thing that stops us, and it sucks, and it's inconsistency. That's exactly what stops us. But anyways, I mean, those are just kind of just some short Bears thoughts. It sucks that we did end the season the way we did. 
not making the playoffs. It was awesome that we finished ten and six, but I mean, what what does it mean after you after you don't even make the playoffs? So it sucks. Uh, shout out to all my fourth phase members. Um, we've you know we've all been busy. We haven't all haven't really made a bunch of videos lately, but uh, TTC members. Haven't forgot about any of you guys. I'm here. You know, I kind of just do my own thing on the TTC. I don't, I don't really pick feuds or grudges. You know, I just kind of go on here and give my thoughts. So, I, I don't know what you want to call me or not, but I'm Bears by the way, I don't know. You know, I do my thing. So, um, Super Bowl. Let's talk Super Bowl real quick. You know, I was, speaking of playoffs, I was right on the first eight, first nine games of the playoffs. I was 9-0, and okay? The only game that I got wrong was the Patriots-Ravens games. I picked the Patriots to win, didn't win. Uh, I picked the Patriots 49ers Super Bowl, but now 49ers-Ravens Super Bowl. Final predictions, I'm going to say the Baltimore Ravens are going to take this one. Um, I just, you know, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool that Ray Lewis came out and said that uh, he's going to retire and that, you know, let's give it my all, my last... Uh, Playoff runs, and he does lead the playoffs and tackles right now. So, you know, he's he's giving it his all, and it's cool. You know, I, I'd love to see him win. I'd love to see him go out on a good note. I mean, the 49ers are undefeated in the Super Bowl, so that's another thing. And and Colin Colin Kaepernick, man, thank the Bears. For that Monday night debut of yours, because you lit us on fire, and that was the start of your career. It's against the Chicago Bears. Why is it always us that it seems like somebody has a breaking... Remember Adrian Peterson back in his rookie year? His first amazing game against the Bears. So now it's Kaepernick's turn. So hopefully we get this... Uh, Hopefully we get the 2013 season down and get it down right. I'll be making more videos, Bear fans. Sorry, I was on a little vacation, had a little Christmas, had school starting up again. I'm a busy. Bears Bound 0809 is a busy man. But, um, never too busy to make YouTube videos. But I'm excited. I am excited about Trestman. I am excited about all the new personnel. I'm excited about the offense. I'm a little worried about the defense, how that's going to change this year, because all the defensive personnel are pretty much gone. So, now we turn our... Now we turn our attention to the Blackhawks. As you can see, the score is 3-1 to one Blackhawks. This is amazing. So, um, I'm just going to be, uh, I'm going to be all Blackhawks. I'm going to be all Bulls for the next, uh, couple months, for the next, uh, seasons for a little bit until the Bears season starts. So, yeah, I love my Blackhawks. I love my Chicago Bulls. Can't, can't do, can't live life without them. So, this is Bears on 9 saying, shout out, oh, and St. Louis just scars the bullshit. As you can see, the score is now uh, two to three. Not good. The Hawks started this game three to nothing. That's two unanswered goals. See, this is exactly why hockey is exciting. If you don't like hockey, like hockey. I love my Chicago Blackhawks. So this is Bears One Hundred Nine saying, get ready for the Royal Rumble this Sunday because my wrestling videos are back.